Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a slightly different video today. I just had an idea because I'm about to sell my old Hero 2 um, and I wanted to find out what the latency on these GoPros is once and for all because uh, I would always look around on the net and there was never actually any hard figure given on what the latency of the video out on the GoPros is as FPV cameras. Now if you've flying, flown for a while you know that there is latency on them and um, yeah, depending on how good you are uh, it is either a problem or not. I flew for a long time with the video out from the Hero 2 without any problem whatsoever and it was only when I got a little bit better and started using the dedicated board cameras there's one there that I noticed um, there was quite a lot of latency when I went back to trying to use a GoPro output, but by then I'd stopped using the Hero 2 and I was using the Hero 3 and um, it seemed to me that there was a huge amount of output, of, uh, of latency on the um, FPV output from that, so uh, I thought I'd come up with a little way of measuring the, uh, the output latency on all of these different sorts of cameras. Now, what you're looking at at the moment is my flat screen TV. Um, the SLR is pointed at it and I've plugged in uh, one of the little board cameras which is, there we are, and we can see the lead going in there. It's basically one of these little fellows, these little PZ type things. I think this one's actually a Starlight one but they're basically the same. And there's sort of the benchmark zero latency. Um, now running through the television like this, I'm going to get some nice video feedback now. Um, running through the television like this, uh, you're going to get some lag because the TV's got its own processing built in to turn this analog signal into a nice digital plasma -y sort of thing to show me. So, first of all we have to measure the latency of the television. As you can see, there is a little bit there. When I move this, it takes a second for that image to cascade back down into video feedback land and, uh, and so on. So, uh, thought that it might be easy to do this with one hand but it's not going to be possible. I think I was going to click some drumsticks. That's going to be my little clapperboard because I don't have a clapperboard. But, oops, that's me hitting the camera with drumsticks. Don't do that. What we'll do instead is we'll try and just get my hand in shot and then we'll just do like a little pretend clapperboard and see how long it takes to cascade down and that will be our benchmark for the latency. I'll work it out by looking at how many frames uh, pass on the, the recording between me actually clicking my fingers together here in real life and it cascading down onto the screen. So uh, if I can line this up so we can actually see. There we go. All right. And uh, very exciting. So you can see there's a little bit, but not much. That should be enough to measure. So now we plug in the Hero 2 and have a look at that picture. Okay, so here we have the Hero 2 uh, running through the TV now. Uh, as you can see, much nicer high def picture. Jolly good. Um, this is set in a 4x3 mode and the TV is actually stretching it. This is what I used to fly in, it's that um, 960 um, mode which uh, fills your goggles nicely and then you can crop it to 720p and um, I've put it in NTSC which is 48 frames a second that's about all you can squeeze out of a Hero 2 and the camera that we're recording with is set to 60 frames a second so there's no strobing it's 48, it's a multiple of 60, blah 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 So. Uh, We'll do a little clapperboard thing again, I guess. As you can see, there's more latency now. So, let's just angle this right. I guess it doesn't really matter where that goes. And we'll have a look at our little duck build clapper and how long it takes. So, whatever the latency we work out in frames here, have to subtract whatever we uh, work out is our TV latency from the previous test. Okay, let's have a look at Mr. Hero 3 now. Alrighty, 
<clears throat> so here we go this is the hero 3 isn't it shiny um, this is in a 16 by 9 mode because that's the only flyable one that I found for FPV if you're going to use any of them you really need to use the 1020 uh, P60 mode to get a smooth frame rate in your goggles um, you still get some jaggies and yeah, it's scaling artifacts and things and it's really not a great picture to fly with um, this is what you want to record with most of the time but this is the only one I found had an acceptable frame rate when we were flying so we'll now look at the lag on this one ready Mr. Duck Bill Clapper oh that's huge try flying proximity with that I'd be interested to work out the figures at the end here there we go all right one more camera to go while we're doing this we may as well evaluate them all the trusty Mobius okay here we are this is the Mobius and look at that nice strobing that's because our frame rates not lining up 60 and 30 apparently but hmm no anyway um, you can see there's a yucky border around everything even that's set in 4x3, another reason why it's bloody impossible to fly FPV with these things. Anyway, here's our clapper test. There's quite a lot of latency on those snapping dinosaurs, isn't there? Dear oh dear. Alright, let's do some calculating. Actually, there's one more test that I'll do while I've got all this bloody shit plugged in. Um, it's the Mobius in... 720 mode so we've got a higher frame rate now at the expense of field of view good luck flying in this but uh, but um, anyway we may as well test the latency while we're here okay yeah so there's less but it's still not what I'd call flyable all right time for calculation Radio. So the results are in. The uh, TV has a latency of around about 4 frames, which is 66 milliseconds. The Hero 2 has an extra 2 to 3, it was hard to tell. So that's about 33 to 50 milliseconds of lag. The Hero 3 was slightly worse. Uh, between 3 and 4, couldn't quite get it either. Um, 50 to 66. And Mobius fared the worst with a whopping 100 milliseconds of lag. Yay. There's a reason you can't fly with those bloody things for FPV. And even in 720 mode, it was still 4 frames or around about 66 milliseconds. So there you go. This is why we fly with dedicated FPV cameras. Catch you next time.